Hello everyone and welcome to another video brought to you by WebVidTouch.com. This is video 9 in the HTML training series and in this video we will be learning a little bit more about text styling. So let's just go ahead and go right into the video and do some text styling. Just go ahead and open up Pad++ up and make your standard HTML page with your HTML tags, head, title, and body. After you're, all, after you're done doing that, then you can go ahead and follow along with me. So let's just go ahead and make an so opening paragraph tag and a closing paragraph tag. And let's go ahead and between the two tags, let's put some example text like this. This some more example text is for this series. Alright. Doesn't matter how, how you spell anything, as long as you have those exclamation points at the end. You have to have those or it will not work. Actually it'll work, but I always like to put exclamation points in my videos. <laughs> okay. As you can see, this is going to launch with just simple text like this is more example text used for the series. Totally spelled wrong, but it'll be alright. Let's just say um, I don't like the font of that text, so let's let's go ahead and change this to um I like the Arial font, so let's go ahead and just change this to Arial font. And how are we gonna do that? Well, we're gonna go change the attribute the style attribute in this paragraph tag and we're going to change it to, uh, so it, that it changes the font to the Arial font. How are we going to do that? Well, let's go ahead and find out. Go ahead and put a space in the beginning paragraph tag and let's go ahead and write style because we're going to change the style attribute. And equals and double quotes just like every attribute does and now that we're there let's go ahead and just type what I type right now and do fonts family oh yes you actually have to spell this right or else it won't work and now since we're going to put a value after font family we have to put a colon which means like hey we're going to put our value in now for this property go ahead and put a space and I like the Arial text, so let's go ahead and change the font family to Arial. I believe the default is Times New Roman, I think. It may be different for all browsers, but I'm pretty sure it's Times New Roman. And now that we're done declaring all that statement, and we have put the property and the value for that property in, we're going to end that line right there. Let's go ahead and save that. And if we have done this right, it's going to change all this text right here to Arial font. So let's go ahead and check that out by running the web page in Internet Explorer. And bam, it changed that all of that text to the Arial font. And it looks much better now. But let's say, hmm, I don't like the size of that text. So let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger because... I want my users to see my text real easy. So we're going to have to go into this style attribute again and we're going to have to change another property of that. Um, right after this line, since we ended the line right here, we can go ahead and start coding another property of the style tag. Or the style attribute I meant. Uh, just go ahead and type what I type. Go font size. And since we're done um, declaring that property, we're going to put in a value into it. So put that, since we're going to make it a different value, and we're going to make it 13 pixels. And then we're done with that statement, so let's go ahead and put a semicolon right there. And what this is going to do is just change the font size of all the text inside this paragraph tag to size 13. And now let's go ahead and see what that looks like. And bam, made the text smaller, which the default must have been bigger because it just went smaller. But let's say I want it much bigger than that. You can go ahead and change that value to, let's go ahead and 26. And let's go ahead and run that. And now we have some really big text since we changed the font size of the text to 26. Um, let's go ahead and make the color of this text different 
as you've seen from the other video, we can go color, and we'll change the color to, we'll change it to blue, like blue. And then since we're done with that statement, put another semicolon right there. It doesn't matter if it's spaced right here or not, but I usually just like to space it out just so I can see it a little bit better. And then if this should work, this should make all this text in right here blue since we're changing the style attribute of this paragraph tag right here. Let's go ahead and launch this in Internet Explorer and bam, all the text is blue because we changed the uh, color property of the style attribute to blue. And color properties only for text and nothing else. It's a, like, let's say you want to change the background color, you have to put background color. And then the hyphen. And actually, this will put a blue background behind the text. But it'll take the text back to black since we took out that blue color property. See? Right there. Blue background behind this text. And that is basically all for this video. I hope you guys learned a, bit, a little bit more about styling some text and a little bit more of what you can do with the paragraph tag and the style tag. Um, hope you guys liked this video. Go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and register as a member at, in webvidtuts.com. Thank you all for watching and have a good day. Goodbye.